So students, the good thing about a dynamic uh, website is that once the site is running, it will keep on running. It does not require a lot of intervention and maintenance because as the data is loaded in the database or if the data changes in the database, that is reflected in the dynamic pages. But still, you have to look at certain aspects of maintaining and keeping your website up to date. And what are those things? I will look at this over here. So you see that these are some of the things you have to be looking at. Okay. And then of course, testing also. Because there is no such thing as an unchanged or constant website in today's domain. The time of the static websites is gone. Even if it's a static website, it requires certain updates. It requires certain changes over the period of time. It is never ever completely static. There may be some of them, but that is not a rule. So let's look at this more detail. So managing your website from afar, from a distance. Now, usually it is the ISP who is performing their people are accessing the database and maintaining the website along with the database, which is of course not with reference to the application. Remember that few people have full access to their website, few people. Okay. And of course, uh, when they maintain their websites, you may move your database back and forth between your computer and the computer of the ISP or the database service provider. Just like the HTML pages, just like the HTML pages, right? So if you are maintaining your own website, now there are two things over here. Number one is that uh, you may be moving your database back and forth between the, between your ISP or the database service provider and your computer that works for small uh, databases, for example, Microsoft access. In other cases, what you might be doing is you might be accessing the database at the ISP. When the database is very large, it may not be movable. So you are making changes over that database by accessing your ISP for large databases like Oracle. Differences are there. So database housekeeping, DSP performs the routine, uh, uh, routine backup. Okay, it could be a daily. Fine. But the thing is that there may be many, many cases which I have listed over here in which you might be interested and you might be required and you might need to do the backup on your own. Okay, not leaving it on the uh, ISP or the database service provider. ISP as in internet service provider. Now say for example, you are a university and it is the registration time and the students are registering for the courses, adding and dropping courses, right? Now in that case, it is not wise to wait for a whole day to make a backup while the system might crash for some reason. So looking at hourly, hourly backup, right? Or you may want to place the backup at a certain location. You would not like the backup to be with your ISP, the DSP, but you want the backup taken at your end and then locating that backup somewhere else for reliability reasons. That is one thing more. And of course, uh, if you are taking the backup by, you say it's the guest book and you uh, take the backup by, em by moving the guest book, okay, and moving an empty, uh, empty database over there. That might create link failure. That might because this the, somebody might access your website while you are performing this task. The best approach, the better approach, is to point it to an under maintenance page. And once you are through, then you point it back to the actual page. So you have to be careful. Uh, why careful? Because you don't want the disarray in your website to be notified to you by somebody else. Because once you are on the internet. Your typing mistakes, your erroneous data, your, your whatever you have placed, that becomes public. And it is not good, it is not good to be notified of the errors, omissions and corrections by somebody else. So have a schedule for database maintenance. It could be a minor if it's okay with you or it could be overall. It depends upon your requirements. It depends upon your domain. 
Remember that this backup is sensitive. Why? Because it involves people from the ISP. It involves people from the administration, from the database, from the web uh, web developer team, from the and so many different people are there. So you have to be careful. And of course, it could be a permanent fixture or it could be routine. It is up to you. So changing when you make a change. improper minor changes can bring down a major system there are many many stories the system down for hours the system down for days and so on why because when the change was made it was not tested you have to be careful and changes are always there and in case of emergency streamline the changes because in case of emergency loopholes are left to be exploited later you have to be careful and finally the person who makes the change is not the person who is testing the changes that's all i have for you in this module thank you very much